Hey everyone, sorry about that. I um, was just informed that the mic was muted, so we had to fix that. Uh, fortunately, it should be back in progress. Uh, you all missed my spiel about the monk, who we have already gotten to level um, 13, but I wanted to do a little quick showcase. This is just Magnus currently. Um, Rosario will be joining us later for an actual show. This is really just showcasing some of the uh, monk's abilities so that you can all see her at home because we've already maxed her out. Um, currently what I have selected are um, two spirit generators and a spirit spender. Um, that would be the crippling wave, which will do a small AoE into a larger AoE arc, and then a full circular AoE around the monk. There's also exploding palm, which on the third <coughs> strike will cause a AoE explosion um, in front of the monk. And there's also Dash, which is currently limited um, to only a couple inches on the screen, but if that was an enemy and I were to target it, I could actually dash all the way over here um, to show you that. She also has mantras, kind of like the uh, Paladin's auras, only they're not constantly on. You actually have to turn them on and they last for about a minute, and you have to constantly uh, trigger them. This one particularly... Um, Cre um, let's see. Grants you and allies within 40 yards 25% chance to dodge attacks. Lasts about or lasts a minute for three seconds after activation. You gain an additional 25% chance to dodge attacks. So you can actually time this out. So where you all fight something and you set it off, and for the three seconds you are actually harder to hit. Um, these are the three skill sets for the monk. Uh, they have spirit generators, which generate spirit. Spirit normally does not generate or recharge on its own unless you actually hit something with your spirit generator. Um, however, a big stat will be spirit regeneration, which you can get on items, as you can see with this um, Daibo. Increased spirit regeneration 0.2 per second. Um, otherwise, I would get absolutely no spirit regeneration. So that's going to be a big stat later on in the game. Um, spirit spenders. There's a lot of cool ones in here. Um, I'll showcase a couple of them in just a few. And then mantras. Mantras are the paladin-like auras from Diablo 2. Um, so I will show you guys some of the spirit generators and some of the spirit spenders. Now you've already seen Crippling Wave and you've already seen Exploding Palm. So we'll put on Fists of Thunder and Deadly Reach. We'll also, since you've already seen Dashing Strike, we'll do Inner Sanctuary and Lethal Decoy. Um, Inner Sanctuary is pretty nice. Uh, it's a good heal for... Uh, oh wait, no wait. I was wrong. That's not Inner Sanctuary. That's a other Spirit Spender. This creates a circle protection. I actually haven't used it in combat, so I'm not sure how well it works, but the there is a cooldown to it, and it's probably a good um, Paladin-esque from WoW uh, ability. There's also the Fist of Thunder, which adds lightning damage to your attacks, and Deadly Reach, which can pierce through enemies at increased range. Uh, this is the first AoE you get as a monk, is Deadly Reach, and it is very useful until you get Crippling Wave. Now we'll unlock Tail Kick, uh, Blinding Flash, and... Breath of Heaven, sorry. Breath of Heaven is actually the heal. Um, this is really good because it's an AoE heal that heals your allies in combat. It can be very useful. currently don't have enough for decoy, so I'll have to actually kill something to show you that. So we will get rid of Breath of Heaven and add Crippling Wave. Uh, blinding Flash. Blinds your enemies. And Flashing Tail Kick does an AoE Tail Kick. Um, that is one of the other AoE ones you get earlier on in the game. But it's a Spirit Spender, so you can only use it so many times, whereas the Piercing Punch you can use um, indefinitely. This is killing business. The dead will overwhelm us all unless something is done. I will thank you. Let's move on ahead. See if I can't show you the, the uh, 
lethal decoy. That's actually a fun um, one that you can do. Move this over. I will help you fight the risen dead. I admire you. That will not. Well, I have seen you. They're attacking the barricades. Now, normally I would uh, have dash equipped, and I would just dash right in. Um, but right now, I have the other ones equipped just to show you guys what they do. And let's fight some enemies to show you what lethal decoy does. So it creates another character, and then it explodes. Um, so not only does it distract uh, the minions of hell, it will cause damage to them after a set period of time, which would be after a second. Unfortunately, it costs a lot of spirits, so you can't spam it, but it's a fun little um, fun little ability, especially for a high-level uh, boss-type fight to kind of get them off your tail so you can heal or um, pass, pass the torch to another tank character like a barb, or just distract them long enough to do enough damage to kill them. And... It. So yeah, this is the monk. Um, we might do a little bit more about strategy, especially um, multiplayer versus single player, but I just wanted to show you guys a, a little bit of her abilities right now, just so you can uh, get an idea what she's like. Anyway, we will be back later tonight with an actual show. Uh, I believe we'll be showcasing some multiplayer stuff um, now that we have showcased all the single player um, characters other than the monk and the wizard. We will definitely do something about the wizard later on just to show you what the wizard does too. Um, you can check us out at uh, our YouTube page which uh, you'll have to ask Razuel for because I don't really remember it right now. And you can check us out in a few hours at twitch.tv slash Alright guys, have a good one.